Good afternoon, what is up YouTube? So, it's Monday. Um, you, like I said, normally I like to do these on Saturdays, but I had a very bit busy packed weekend this past weekend. Um, my dad was in town last week. Uh, did a bunch of stuff for my son's birthday, which is coming up Wednesday. His party was Saturday at Rock and Jump. We had a blast there. Um, he had a great time. He was a very happy kid. Um, and then Sunday was obviously Easter, so did a workout with my dad, said goodbye after lunch, and then uh, went up to hang out with their family. So all in all, it was a good weekend, uh, but, you know, very busy, very packed, full of a lot of stuff. Um, I do have some exciting news. I am now a Tiger Fitness affiliate, so uh, I'll try to post my link as often as possible for you guys if you want to show some love and support. Um, I love all their products. I've been using them. MTS Nutrition and 015 Nutrition for quite some time. I just started, I'm going to start using some of the Ambrosia Collection too. Um, any questions or anything that you want to know about any of their supplements, let me know um, and I will try to reach out to you and uh, give you as much information as possible. Um, pretty excited. I'm very honored for this opportunity. I've been a follower of Mark Lobliners for a while, so very excited by this chance. But let's get into the knit and grit of the week. Um, so Monday last week I did squats. I was a little tight feeling on my uh, right quad, so I didn't go super heavy. I went up to 516 for some couple reps and then uh, backed off and did a 426 AM rep, which I'm pretty sure I could have gotten above 10, but I stopped at 9 because it was feeling pretty tight, and probably from the pump and everything. But felt good, uh, moved pretty well. Then I did my bench accessories on. Uh, Tuesday. Uh, the Duffalo bench is definitely helping out, I think. Uh, so we're going to also kind of focus a lot on eccentrics now, too, because that's another area where I uh, kind of have an issue. I really lower the bar down at a slow rate, so uh, probably going to start doing... I did banded uh, bench press yesterday, um, and I definitely felt like it was moving a lot faster on uh, one of the guys... Ed Dabari, uh, he told, gave me a bit of advice that definitely helped of like counting in my head one, two, and by the time I get to two, the bar should be on my chest, then pause for a second and explode. So hopefully I'll be able to take that and uh, start moving the weight faster, start getting uh, closer to 400 or break 400 as soon as possible. Where, like I said, I want 400 by the end of the year. I want 700, 700, 400 if I can. I think it'd be uh, pretty awesome to hit those numbers this year. Um, deadlift session, which is the main focus right now, uh, I still went pretty heavy on that, but I, I was pretty stiff afterwards. Uh, I got 575 for a double and did hack squats at like 300 plus. It felt pretty good. Um, the lying leg curl machine's messed up there, so I've been kind of just doing glute bridges with my hyper extensions and Copenhagen planks. Um, so all in all, training went pretty well this week. Um, nutrition was off because my dad was in town, so I kind of like let myself enjoy life a little bit more. Like I did a weigh-in today. I'm up on weight, but also part of it was I just eaten right before I went. I normally wouldn't eat right before weigh-in, but I had my like I said, I had my goddaughter with me, so took her out to lunch, the fam whole family and everything. Um, but we're going to go back to the normal diet this week. Um, it did say I gained some muscle, so I'll take that. Um, and, yeah, my water was higher than normal. So, all in all, technically eight-pound gain, but we're going to lose that pretty quick. We're going to start tightening up. That way it can be at least under 308 by the time that the weigh-ins come on the 20th. We're getting close. We're about four weeks out now. So, yeah, next week we're going to deload because been going fairly heavy on some of the lifts um probably only work up to like 450 500 at most on deadlift this week and then uh we're gonna be starting to do some heavy singles as we get closer and closer um to the meet trying to we're probably gonna be breaking 600 here soon hopefully so pretty excited anyways guys thank you so much for the love and support instagram's been going growing pretty clip crap ah. Wow, talking, sometimes fun. Uh, Instagram's been growing pretty quickly, and 
TikTok just, just keeps taking off. So uh, Twitter's been growing. Everybody's been showing so much love and support, and it really means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for the appreciation. Anyways, guys, stay active and have a wonderful day.